continuing the Band and Loop series, uh, today is solder. Pretty easy. Just four simple steps. First step, apply the flux. Well, I'm using this flux from JBC. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty smooth. I like the consistency of it. Uh, and I'm using a little instrument to uh, put it on the uh, wires. Pretty much, I put the flux wherever I want the solder to go. Okay. Uh, the next step is apply heat shield. All right. I have my heat shield in this little syringe thing, so I can squirt it out. And you put the heat shield wherever you want the solder not to go. So it's a pretty simple layout. So as I get my solder ready, uh, I put it on my hemostats and um, turn on my suction to kind of keep the fumes away from my face. Uh, I'm using a micro torch called a blazer for this operation. And the first thing I do is I heat the tooth and that softens the tooth, allows the band to come off without um, breaking the band or twisting the band. Also it helps uh, to heat from the inside to heat the band. Uh, so I'm applying heat, moving the, the flame tip around on top of right where I want to put the solder. And I apply the solder about when the flux turns clear. And so I, when the solder goes on, it kind of is in a little ball. The more heat I apply, the more it relaxes. So you'll see I lift the torch off sometimes when I think it's getting too hot. So time for the other side. I, again, apply heat, and I keep going, and sometimes you'll see the flux turn into a white powder, and then it'll turn into a liquid. So you kind of wait till the flux turns into a clear liquid. Uh, I'm using the solder to kind of move the flux around, as you saw at the beginning. And then I'm just heating all the elements that I want solder on. The solder will flow to the heat, so if you want it to move, move the heat to where you want it to move to and then go back and forth and that's it uh, you just keep this is the next one I just do the same thing apply flux apply heat shield apply heat and then solder uh, some warnings if you see the wire start to turn black be wary uh, try to put your flux on it immediately if it starts to turn red, you probably ruin the wire. You may not be able to get flux on there because it oxidized the wire. Uh, and there's too many impurities that came out of the wire. And so if you see something turn red, back off the flame. So you'll see every once in a while when I see it start to get too hot, I'll back off the flame. Um, the heat shield. The heat shield is very important. Uh, again, with the when I talk about the wire getting red, you want to put the heat shield where you don't have any flux because the flux also helps to, I believe, knock down the heat. The BTUs stay the same, but the heat gets knocked down on the wire. It kind of protects protects the wire. actually puts a layer of oxidation or whatever around the solder joint. So, again, just heating, uh, moving the flame around. I wish you could see it from my view. I'm, I'm really moving that tip. Everywhere I want the solder to go is where I move the, the flame tip around. And you'll see it. Sometimes uh, I can't get it. I, I call the flux relaxing, where I know it has flowed into all the corners and the nooks and crannies that I want. If you don't, if it just stays on top, it doesn't surround the wire. You want the wire completely surrounded by the flux. Again, I'm kind of tapping the uh, solder, putting it where I want it, uh, and then I'm using the flame to kind of move the solder around to, to go around the wire and it gets the band. Oh, there it goes, it flashed. It relaxed. Sometimes if it relaxes too much and goes too close to the gingiva, you'll see I'll flip this thing upside down. I'll use gravity to my advantage heat up the solder again, let it relax, and go toward the occlusal. That way there's not an impinging gums and stuff. Thanks again for watching, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.